Welcome back guys to another video. We're going to be looking at an EVE Online update and remember one stop shop for an EVE Online news. Galaxy here and the Galaxy here. Hope you're doing okay and let's dive straight into this. So as you can see the new official trailer for Eclipse 2, uh, Eclipse Quadrant 2 has uh, just dropped. It literally dropped a few hours ago and uh, yeah we're going to be looking into that in quite a bit of detail. So, first of all, we're going to watch that thing, because if you haven't watched it already, we'll uh, watch it right now. Through the mist, I saw a figure emerge, and with it, a darkness advanced, devouring and reshaping. And as the sunlight cast its final, everlasting shadow, I felt a chill rise from the abyss and eclipse the world. So as you can see guys, a very action packed trailer, there's a lot in there, there's a lot to break down. But the first, before we do that, we are going to have a look at the official statement from CCP. So as you said, as you see yeah, Quadrant is called Eclipse. Kick it off on the 6th of April. Uh, so from the 6th of April, it doesn't say how long, I think it's just a whole new patch, uh, a whole new game like the other expansions that we've had. Uh, it's going to be looking at the shift in the balance of power in New Eden, fight or flight quadrant, which was actually really good. Uh, featuring a wide variety of highlights such as Frigate Escape Bay, loyalty to low sec from Wormholes with Love, uh, Dragonor Blitz and much more. Yeah, so I've done videos on a lot of the uh, stuff that was released in the uh, fight and flight quadrant, the first one. Uh, so they're going to be following up with events, celebrations, logging campaigns, visual updates and more skins, huge balance changes, which is going to be quite nice to see. New and mysterious ships and weapons, which is always, always got to get hyped for new ships and weapons. As well as the final chapter of the Invasion expansion. So unlike the Sansha one, which is still going, it looks like they're doing a final chapter, a full war system, a full storyline to this invasion, uh, which is going to be uh, pretty damn nice. Uh, first up will be the return of the Hunt uh, event on the 6th of April. This, I've had a look at this, this looks amazing. So, it's time you capsules will undertake their now annual egg hunt. Players will be tasked with the challenge of hunting down and scanning capsules in order to gain access to special event sites uh, and potentially valuable drops. And there'll be an event with smaller ship classes so all the new bros and everything like that can get involved as well because it's going to be ship frigates and destroyers, uh, which is really good, making getting this instantly ac instant access to all the new bros so they're not feeling left out because of skill requirements and so on and so forth. Uh, during the event, players' pods will now have a chance of dropping their implants. So you can see capsules getting blown up every single time. Instead of where some people might say, oh no, just let the pod go. No, people are going to be killing these for those implants. Because some of those implants, especially mission runners and incursion runners, oh good god, those are going to be expensive. So you can see... And a huge increase in suicide ganking coming from, uh, with this expansion, which is going to be hilarious. Uh, so Eve is celebrating their 17th anniversary. and There's going to be a lot of changes hurtling towards uh, New Eden. Chapter 3 of the Invasion storyline is set to unfold, with players influencing the outcome of this star-spanning conflict. 
Uh, the landscape of New Eden will never be the same again, forcing capsulers to adapt to new and unprecedented changes. So obviously there's going to be more updates coming in the following weeks and uh, there will be more videos of that. But just from that trailer, so as you can see, where is it now? The Avatar has a nice new model. It, ha it is a very... Hang on. There. Very... Oh, God, that's terrible. There. Very, very different looking now. So it's got a massive hole in the front of it, uh, which looks pretty damn epic. I'm, uh, I'm not going to lie about that. So that I'm really looking forward to seeing that change. That looks nice. And then we have a couple uh, a couple pictures I wanted to pick, uh, pick apart here. So this bad boy. This is a new ship. We have not seen this ship yet. This uh, is it Triglavian? Looks a little bit Caldari sort of colour scheme and sort of theme to it. It's got a nice new weapon up there which you can see which you can see being fired where is it? Here. I'll, we'll play it now and it goes from ship to ship causing damage. A bit like the Keepstar Do uh, Doomsday. So hang on. Here. Look at that. Bounces off one to th looks like three, three, uh, three ships in total. So that looks pretty, uh, pretty damn epic. And then we've got this one. That to me looks like a new structure under construction on a moon. So I don't know if it has anything to do with the moon. Speculation is amazing, but that looks a very nice structure. I don't know what it is or what citadel it is, but. That looks very nice. So we've got another picture here, a little bit like inside almost. So I have no idea what this is. Let me know what your thoughts are going to be down in the comments below. This would be really nice to see what this actually comes up with. Or where you even get the blueprint for it from. I imagine it's going to be something to do with the invasion uh, these coming out. Or it's going to be, I don't some I, I wouldn't know. It looks like. I don't know, it looks like a capital citadel sort of thing. You know, like a like an Alliance HQ or something with all these towers and, and whatnot. I don't know. So it's going to be really interesting to see where this goes uh, with that. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys because I want to see, I want to see what your thoughts are on this. There's some of these new weapons, new ships. Um, oh, it looks like it's shaping up to be uh, a really decent expansion. But this is game-changing. During the hunt. Player pods. They're dropping their implants. Everyone has said from the start, oh, I wish pods dropped their implants. Oh, my good God. They have listened. And it looks like this new team is really, really listening to the community. We've seen a lot of things that people have been asking for for 10, like 10 plus years. Slow, slowly dripping into the game, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I think that is everything covered, guys. So if you did like this video, uh, make sure, again, hit the subscribe and that like button. And uh, if you have any comments about some of these new structures coming to the game, it looks like, and these new ships, let me know what you think, guys. But thank you very much. And, uh, of course, I will see you in the next one.